Hello and welcome to Steins Gate Zero Episode 9 Reaction. So, I haven't been reacting to Steins Gate Zero for a bit now. I think it's been like 3 4 weeks. I don't even know, man. I don't think it was that much. It was at least two to, it was somewhere between 2 to 3 weeks. And I've been kind of out of the loop. I know that we've had some again switching lines and oh my god yeah i remember now freaking makise being late because of wokabe sending her text to be late so he can switch the line because if she was on time he couldn't do it you know he couldn't just kill her after she you know admitted his fe her feelings towards him so now he's back <clears throat> in the line where Mayuri is alive, in the line where Amadeus is a thing, I think. He's back to where he was. But we have no idea who caused this or why. I'm still suspe suspecting that female doctor. Um, I think she's behind most of it. I feel like Charles is involved as well. I think they're both in it. Trying to make time machines or something. It will be definitely interesting to see though. So without further speculation. For uncut reactions as well as early access. Make sure to check my Patreon to discuss Steins Gate Zero or any other of my show. Make sure to check my Discord link for both will be down in the description below. Link for the episode, the cut 10 minute version of the episode will also be down in the description below. So check that out. Um, and yeah, after the episode comes here for the review. With that being said though, let's just jump into this episode. Let's go. Okay guys, so this was Steins Gate Zero episode 9. A uh, really interesting episode. A lot of question marks arose from this one first of all is that girl that was in the hospital also in possession of reading steiner if so how does reading steiner even work how do, does one obtain reading steiner like like i was saying during the episode like it could be a case like spider-man you know he got, Peter Parker got beaten by a freaking radioactive spider, and then he got the abilities of a spider. And that's what, you know, led to Spider-Man. But I was thinking about radiation in general, if he was exposed to it. But radiation doesn't work like, it's not a beam, you know, projected into one spot. Or one person. It has like an area of effect, you know. Imagine a circle, and everyone in that circle is exposed to it. So there's no way that Okabe would be the only one exposed without any one of his lab members would ever be exposed to it. The only case where it could be possible is if he was exposed to it while he was a kid. Because we, have, we don't have any information about Okabe while he was a kid. Besides that movie, which is non-canon. So we, we have no idea. We only know a bits and pieces about Okabe and Mayuri going way back. But Mayuri doesn't have it. So it has to be somewhere where Okabe was without Mayuri. Because if, I feel like that girl has reading Steiner. Because she remembered too much of that dream quote-unquote, because unlike other people who only remembered bits of, and pieces of it, and their memories were often poked by them being in the same area, uh, in the same space, in the physical space, where, you know, they were in the, another line. And that's what brought that deja vu style of, you know, hazy memories. But for her, it looks like it was a bit too realistic. And she said itself that, you know, everyone else described it as a dream thing. As it was a bit of, you know, it was blurry. 
it was, you know, only bits and pieces. But she said it was, it almost felt too realistic to be a dream. She remembered this, then she remembered that, and you know, she had a whole like storyline of what was happening. So I don't know. I, I feel like if anyone in this story so far had a reading Steiner besides Okabe, it's her for sure. It's not 100% confirmed, but I, I feel like she does. I just don't know how that would influence the story from now on. Her having Grading Steiner if she's not aware of it, right? Only maybe this will serve the purpose of how does one obtain Grading Steiner? And another question at hand is you know, we can't really know for how long did she have, if we assume that she does indeed have Grading Steiner. We can't really tell or know for how long did she have it. How long was she in the possession of, of Reading Schneider? Because of... We didn't have her at all in Season 1. So while Okabe was switching lines, we have no idea what happened to her. And she didn't mention having those kinds of dreams before. But then again, if she wasn't around Okabe... Would she even notice it? I guess if she was around the town and if she was in the same line one second <coughs> Sorry about that So if she was in the same we, we don't know her backstory I feel like I don't really know when they met and how long was she cosplaying for Mayuri? Or, you know, how long did Mayuri make cosplays for her? Was she the one of, of the girls that she made cosplays for in the first Steins Gate? Or was she not? I, ha I have no idea. Because if she was in the same town, if she was in the same line, I would assume that she was. Even though maybe not. Oh, this was confusing. Let's let's first go. I'm I'm you know I'm jumping all over the place as I'm thinking about it. But first, if we assume that she was from the get-go with Okabe. So Okabe started in this line, in beta line, with Malkise dying. He went to Alpha Line, he spent the entirety of Steins Gate in Alpha Line. Well, 90% of it, but let's let's just go with it. Would she switch from, Al from Beta Line to Alpha Line with him when he did it the first time if she was around? As Okabe switches line randomly, now as someone else affects the future... Or, or the line, not the future, the line. He switched now from beta to alpha again. Does that mean that someone affected Okabe's surrounding? Or does this just mean that something major happened in the world that pushed that line from beta to alpha again and does that mean that people with reading steiner are the only ones who are actually pushed from beta to alpha line or does it mean that only okabe is or you know there are so many questions regarding reading steiner and how it actually works i don't think we actually know 100 percent because every time up until now, Okabe was the one actually causing it. He was the one sending messages, everything, right? And Or he was in the immediate presence of, for example, Bumaika sending a, a message or, you know, whoever. He was there in the room with them. And that's what made him switch. 
But maybe it wasn't even that. It was, you know, this is the first time that he wasn't near the cause, even though we don't know the cause. It could be that someone in the building switched something, you know. Someone in the party. But I don't know. So, you know, you, my question really here is if she has a Riedensteiner as well as Okabe. Would that mean that she would automatically switch from Beta Line in the beginning to Alpha Line, uh, then switch to Alpha Lines, you know, when the whole city changed? Would she remember that or not? You know, how does that work? If she had Reading Steiner back then, maybe she only got Reading Steiner recently. That's why we only hear about that right now. That's another question at hand. And, and then if that's the case, if she only got Reading Steiner now, how does one get Reading Steiner? Is it some sort of, like I said, radiation leak or something? Some sort of reality leak? You know, like a wormhole or something? And then affects a person and then it gets some sort of extraterrestrial abilities like Reading Steiner? You know, how, how does that work? It could be, like, inherited, like, through the bloodline, right? Maybe his father had it, or, or Okabe's mother had it, or someone. Maybe it skips a generation, so maybe his grandparents had it, you know? That, but then if it's bloodline-related, does that mean that that girl is related to Okabe, if only, like, his... Um, his family tree, you know, had that ability of reading Steiner. If they're the only ones. If there are more families around the world, more like bloodlines that are in possession of that ability. Uh, if it works... I, I don't I didn't think it's going that way because this is not the type of the show that would have, you know, a bloodline-related stuff. This is not a supernatural show, really. I mean, it kind of is, but... Not in that sense of, like, supernatural in sense, vampires, werewolves, you know. In, in, in where bloodline-related things would have more sense. Um, but this is more like a science-related thing. So I, I feel if Reading Steiner would be explained ever, it would have something to do with science. It could be radiation of some sort, a wormholes. Uh, I don't even know. He was selected by God. I would, I would, maybe prefer that rather than you know something else. But you know, if we have another reading Steiner user, then everything gets so much compli more complicated. And I need some answers now. I I kind of rolled with it with reading Steiner. I didn't really think much about it. It was just a cool ability. It was something that Okabe had. If you wanted to think about it, you could think that Okabe was such an important person in human history. When you look at it, let's say, from 100 years from now, right? When he dies. He was such an important figure. He changed a lot in the human history. And he was you know, such an important person for maybe human race not to go to shit that... A god, quote unquote, gave him the ability to, you know, be able to save the human race from exterminating itself. You know, I could go with that. I could roll with that. You know, I could be fine with that. But now with, when more people have it, it's confusing. It's, it's definitely confusing. Damn, I still spent a lot of time talking about that. I didn't even touch upon other stuff that I wanted to touch upon. Now I forgot what I wanted to touch upon. Yeah, Maki and Okabe. Uh, I didn't really have much to say that I didn't say during the episode. It's just... I, I can't decide if it's really sad and heartbreaking or really amazing um, seeing Okabe like, exchanging conversation with Maki, so thinking what she would say, having that sort of kind of mental connection um, where she kind of completes him and makes him a, a great scientist, you know, a great, just a greater person in general. 
I don't really know where we're going with that. You know, it all depends if... Like I said, I don't know how much of a mush his brain really is now. So I, I hope that he won't just fall apart at one point. You know, she'll disappear. And then he'll be like a shell of a person that he was, basically. I hope that we go don't go to that. Even though that would be emotionally really impactful. I kind of I kind of want all, everything to be, you know, nice. Which I'm saying all the time is time to get and I never get it. Until maybe the end of the season. But <laughs> it is what it is, right? Um, yeah, I, I think this is pretty interesting. As, as a whole concept, I can't wait to see more. I'm just getting intrigued now. I was kind of worried before jumping into this episode. Of, you know, I was out of the loop for a while. I could maybe go for a bit easier show like Judge's Bizarre Adventures, Food Wars, you know, something that I don't have to think that much. Where I can just go with the flow and just, you know, have a good time, left, left it off, you know, and that that would be the reaction. But goddamn, I, I, when I watched this episode, I, I just reminded myself how I love these types of Kind of psychological shows. I feel like that's a good description. Where you actually have to think. After each and every episode. And it really involves you in the show. And I love theories. I love theory crafting. And one of my favorite shows. For example One Piece. I mean it, it definitely. Helps that it has been around for so long. Hundreds and hundreds of episodes. And there's a lot of like setups for. It happens like 200, 300 episodes later. So it's easy to speculate because of the world being so vast. But you know that's, that's one of the features that makes it so enjoying to me. It can go in so many different directions. And I kind of love to think of the possibilities. The down part of that though, is that often you can imagine things far greater than what actually happens, and you can kind of overhype yourself on thinking of all of the different theories and, you know, possibilities, and then something that happens don't really meet those expectations or those ideas of the viewer. But I feel like Steins Gate really, really exceeds my expectations. And even though I, I get it wrong a lot of times, I still feel like, yes, it makes perfect sense and it works and it's so freaking clever. And that that's, I feel like that's definitely its highest, highest um, perk. Of, of Steins Gate, its highest value. Even though, sure, world building, great characterizations, character building. If I didn't feel anything for the characters, I wouldn't really care of the old plot of all of the plot twists and everything. So it definitely makes the show that you know characters are that relatable, likable. Uh, Ho in Kyoma. Our med scientist, or or now Oka Berintaro, our sad scientist. Um, even though he feels out of rage sometimes because of his way of thinking, his you know his just intelligence. Um, in the end, we all understand him. We all understand where he came from, and what he wants to do. And we all understand his feelings. Even though his thinking is sometimes very complicated, his feelings are often pretty simple. Or simple enough for us to understand it. And, and that's what makes it such a beautifully made show. And goddamn, I'm going to watch the next episode. <laughs> With that being said, though, that would be it for me for this one, though. Time to edit it and then jump straight into the next one. I hope you enjoyed my reaction. I hope you like what I had to say. If you did, make sure to leave me a like. 
I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you're new or if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe as well. New episodes are coming every Mondays and Fridays as always. I wish you have an awesome rest of the day and I'll be seeing you in the next one with more of Steinscape. Until then though, bye bye guys!